Every year, Kelly and I, we retire our wedding rings and make new ones. This is how we got here. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Wait, 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 wait. Check it. So I've got some stainless steel chucked up in there. First thing I'm gonna do is face this off. Kelly and I met on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2008. And I have video footage of this because I'm one of those weird guys who recorded everything. And this was before vlogging was a thing and before the iPhones had a video camera. My band Sinker and Kelly's band The Falling Spikes were opening up for a band called Grand Buffet for a sold out New Year's Eve show. From here, we started chatting on Facebook. Back in those days, I was a little bit more annoying and came across as arrogant. So it took a lot of effort to get her to like me. Plus, I was really shy, so I would never officially ask her out. I would find out what shows she was going to or what bar she was going to, and I would just put myself there until eventually love took its course. I've never gotten along with somebody so well in my life. We had the exact same beliefs and philosophies. We like the same movies and the same music, and we have the exact same taste in interior design. So fast forward six years to 2014, we're living together with her two cats and my wiener dog, Weens. We both thought marriage was an outdated institution, so we agreed to never get married. But two things happened. I got my first book deal with a legit publisher, and I had my first YouTube sponsorship. I didn't have the passion for my web development job that I once had, and making woodworking videos started to consume all of my creative energy. Kelly saw this and suggested that I quit my cushy ad agency job and try the YouTube thing full time. This is something that I never would have done on my own without somebody pushing me because I had worked very hard to get to where I was and to just give all that up just seemed so crazy. It turns out in America, when you quit your job, you lose your health insurance. And so the only way for me to get on Kelly's health insurance was to get married. So we did, but on our own terms. So we rented a cabin in a secluded area far away and invited nobody, no friends, no family, just our friends Jim and Heather who performed the ceremony. There was no schedule, no agenda. The plan was to just hang out all day, drink whiskey by a fire, and when we felt we were ready and in the right mindset, we would perform the ceremony. We did it our way. It was cheap, it was meaningful, it was memorable, and it was perfect. If you wanna learn how to do this, go check out Blondie Hacks. Don't follow me for Wade's advice. I'm the wrong person. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm putting myself and my brother in danger. So I'm gonna go back and forth to create this gully. I don't know the, I don't know the terms. Big deal. What are you gonna do? Not watch my videos? Big deal. Normally, you would use the DRO and you would go from zero to, let's say, two millimeters and just keep going back and forth. I busted my DRO by backing it into the tailstock, so it's not working. So I'm gonna have to eyeball this like a woodworker because that's what I am. I made the wedding rings out of wood, I made the ring boxes, and I made the whiskey stand and shot glasses that were used during the ceremony. Since then, I've made rings every year, but I am always late, including this year. Maybe we'll get it on time next year. So there's Kelly's, and now I get to repeat and make my size ring. To be honest, we're not really into remembering dates and celebrating anniversaries. We would always forget when our first date was. It's more important to us that we get together and reflect on what we have periodically and often. Got the two rings cut off the lathe. That leaves a sharp edge on there. So this is just a cheap little deburring tool. You take this and you just run it along the inside. Breaks that edge, removes that sharpness. So now we're gonna head to KenCraft and go get some pretty wood trees.
We are back from KenCraft with our dollar and 25 cent piece of wood. Probably the smallest haul ever from KenCraft. So now I'm going to rip it to the width of this gully. Is that the correct term? Gully. And then I think I'm gonna take a plane and do some shavings and try to get that to wrap around there. So this is funny. I took off my bench vise to mount it on the outdoor bench that we made a couple months ago. And I bought the crazy awesome Andrew Klein twin turbo bench vise. I've had it for at least two months and I haven't installed it. I need a vise to put this in so I could plane the, the shavings off of here. This is mounted on the Andrew Klein designed mag switch vise. Check this out. I just had this cheap drill pass vise from Menards. It says master force on there. This will work with any drill pass vise, but it mounts onto this magnetic base that Andrew Klein designed and then mag switch makes. So it's got these magnets on the bottom, massive magnets on the bottom. And so I can set it on here and lock this into place. How freaking cool is that? It looks like a piece of high end audiophile stereo equipment. It looks so cool and so badass. I'm going to use this not for its magnetic purposes, but just for its weight until I get my bench vise fixed. Ugh. I just got this cheap Harbor Freight block plane and I'm going to make some shavings with this. Turns out this isn't working. I'm not getting nice long shavings because this stuff is just so brittle. It just disintegrates. And if I put a piece of walnut in here, I get exactly what I need. Nice long shavings. I think we just wasted a dollar 25. Just overlap this a little bit and we'll clean that up later. I've got some penetrating epoxy. I'm just going to kind of brush it on the wood here. Super deep penetration. That's exactly what we need. There's nothing funny about that. It's just super deep penetration. There's nothing funny about that. Can you think of anything funny now? So I'm just using an ice pick, just a cheap old ice pick that I can kind of get in there for some super DP. DP is my favorite category <laughs> of epoxy. The epoxy has had time to dry. Uh, Kelly's is fine. On my ring, I did not get that groove perfectly centered. It's off to one side. A real machinist would have done it right with real machinist tools and measuring. I was eyeballing it. I eyeballed it wrong. I'm not a machinist. I'm just a dude with some fancy tools. So I am... I didn't even know that this existed up until a few days ago. This comes from Rockler. This is a chuck for the lathe that is made just for rings. Maybe this has existed forever and I'm just ignorant and didn't know. But as soon as I saw this, I bought it instantly. So the ring fits over top of there. It's sort of like my ring stretcher, but fits on the lathe. So once I get that on there, there's a, you can use an Allen key, uh, Allen wrench hex key, whatever this is called. And as you tighten that, this whole thing expands and that ring stays on there. So I can chuck this up on the lathe and then polish that top. One final coat of car polish for a nice shine. Keeping my hands clear. So here we are eight years later. We're lucky enough to have each other, a nice house, and two of the most adorable wiener dogs. So now we'll go get Kelly out here and see what she thinks. Kelly! Kelly! Before showing these to Kelly, we're taking a little walk 
in my backyard. I want to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for like 10 years. That is way before I was a YouTuber and long before they were a sponsor. And the reason I use Squarespace is it's so easy to use. I used to be a professional web developer. I used to sit behind a desk all day making websites, and then I would go home and make freelance websites. It's, it's all I knew for 10 years of my life. I don't want anything to do with that anymore. I ain't got time for that. You ain't got time for that. It's 2022, you need a website. Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. You can bring in all of your social media feeds. They've got beautiful templates to get you started. They've got all of these great photo galleries to choose from, plus they're very customizable. So if you wanna show off your work, Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. If you got YouTube videos, you can easily bring in those feeds into your website with just a link, and then it does all the embedding for you. You can bring in all your other social media feeds so you have one central place, one hub for all of your work, plus contact forms. And if you wanted to have a password protected private members only section of your website, you can do so. Visit squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's go back inside and show these off to Kelly. This ain't my backyard. This is one of the beautiful Toledo Metro parks. What was that bell? It was a cowbell. Oh. oh. <laughs> Kelly! I'll have a whole playlist of ring videos down below. I'll have detailed shots over on Instagram. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.